and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2020 on a 20 plate Volkswagen Amarok. It's a 3 litre TDI V6 trend line. Um, it's done just 25,000 miles and it's got full Volkswagen service history with one service in the book. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular. Mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here today with me in person. As I walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints, look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths and under the arches. This one's got a roll of locks, so we're going to have a look at that and we'll look inside the back of the vehicle as well. When we've done that, we're going to look inside the cab, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. When we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And then finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance it, we can go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes and I can usually get your decision within around an hour. This is a plus VAT item. You will need a deposit to cover the VAT. Unfortunately, I can't make it disappear for you, although we do get asked quite a lot. Um, it's also worth mentioning while you're watching the video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask. We work on complete transparency here at JustCompareCars.com and I'd rather make sure that while you're sat at home, you're comfortable with exactly what you're going to get delivered or what you're going to come and see when you get hit, get here. We don't want to waste a journey on for anyone, do we, at the end of the day? Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we'll work our way around from there. Obviously, it's a 20 plate. It's in nice, clean condition. It's not done many miles. I'm going to apologise, actually. Let's have a look at that, I left the keys in it, actually. I think have. I have left the ignition. My bad. Right, so, um, yeah, so it actually arrived yesterday, um, it was washed yesterday, it's nice and clean, it's not rained or anything, um, but it sits under these trees, and as you can probably appreciate, it's quite funny, um, so I'm just going to wipe it off, I didn't want to wash it, because you never see it quite the same as what you would, dry as what you will wet, so bear that in mind, so there's a tree sap on there, Go. Right, so yeah, the bonnet, as you can probably appreciate, is in fantastic condition. Um, obviously very low miles, it's not very old. It is actually in fantastic condition. I am going to apologise, I've just realised a bird has just pooped on it. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, no nasty marks or dents. It's very nice and clean. Now, it's only done 20 odd thousand miles, or is it 25,000 miles? Not many, but it's been on a UK road. Uh, as unlucky as we are in that sense, um, it will get stone chips, as you can probably appreciate. Just trying to figure out if that is one there. It is a stone chip there. And a bit of mop. So there's a little one there. And there's a couple there. They're not bad. And uh, you can ring vaults so I can get a chip stick. Proper colour. You'll never see it then, would you? Uh, right, so driver's side headlight is in nice clean condition, it's uh, no damage, no misting, no cracks, everything's clean. We've got parking sensors on the front, again, bumper's in great condition, um, there's no damage, just obviously there is a couple of stone chips, but hopefully you can appreciate not many, it's nice and clean. And then obviously the passenger side headlight is nice and clean with no damage, misting or cracks. Oh heck, more poo! I'm so sorry, I hadn't seen that. Um, I can't stop now, but let's just try to ignore that. I promise it won't be there for long after this video. Um, the passenger side front wing's in nice clean condition, ignoring the poo. No damage, no misting, everything looks good. No damage, no misting. No damage or dents, everything looks really nice and clean. Oh dear, I'm not with it today. Uh, so, passenger side front wheel and tyre, the wheel's in good condition, although we have got a little bit of kerb in. As you can see, there's a little bit here. I'm saying nothing, but it looks like my wife's been driving it. Um, it's got a Bridgestone tyre. Um, and I would say there's about five millimetres of tread. Under the arch, as you can see, is in fantastic condition. Very nice and clean. Uh, windscreen is free from stone chips and cracks, as you can see. Well, you can't see anything, can you? But there isn't, there isn't any on it. Um, passenger side mirror back is in nice clean condition. There's a little mark on it there, but that's nothing. Over the pillars. And the roof. It's all in nice clean condition. 
Right, so let's go down the passenger side. I always like to take this view. Reason being, as you're looking down the panels, you can see anything that's not out of, well, there's anything out of place, obviously, and everything you can see is really very nice and clean. Really good view to take. And I'm looking this as if as I was going to buy it. So I'm looking at everything. And there's no marks or dents. It's really very nice and clean. Being extremely picky, there's a tiny little mark just there. And there's a little one just there as well. Where is it? It's just gonna... Well, I'm going to pedal it off. It's not there, look. a bit of mark. No, there is a small mark just there, but it's not massive. Right, so passenger side rear quarter is in nice clean condition. And again, there's no damage, no dints, everything looks nice and clean. Passenger rear wheel and tyre, wheels in good condition. There is a little mark on there, but nothing serious. Um, it's a matching Bridgestone dealer tyre. Um, I would guess there's about four or maybe five millimetres of tread and under the arch is nice and tidy. Passenger side tail light is in nice clean condition, no damage, misting or cracks. Rear bumper has got parking sensors, it's in nice condition. Uh, that little bit there has just moved a little bit. Not sure why. It's just plastic at the end of the day. Uh, tow bar is in good condition, it doesn't like it's used very much. Parking sensors, obviously. We've got the later style 13 pin electrics. Um, it has got a roll and lock, roll and lock. So these are quite good, I like these. Um, they're not quite as expensive as the mountain top ones, but they're very good. Reason being is it's got metal under here, but then it's got a uh, leatherette covering. They do what they bestly possibly can to try and make it as waterproof as possible. They're not very waterproof, I've got to be honest, but they're about as good as you're going to get. Um, they're a good bit of kit as well. Um, short of anyone standing in the middle of it, jumping up and down on it, probably wouldn't be very easy to get into. Also, there's an extra bonus. You can't open that unless that's open. It locks on. It locks onto the back of this here, as you can see. So it gives you extra security in many ways. In the back, as you can see, it's nice and clean. It's obviously not had a hard life. It's very, very tidy. The tailgate's in nice, clean condition as well. Hopefully you can see from that, there's no nasty marks or dents. It's really very nice and clean. There are a few superficial little marks on the top. It's just the way people use them. It's as simple as that. You know, you put stuff in. Um, there's a couple of little tiny grazers, but I think I can't feel them on my fingers, which is a really usually a good indicator whether or not you can potentially polish them out if you're that bothered. Um, it won't bother me, I've got to be honest. Right, so driver's side tail lights in nice clean condition, no damage, missing or cracks, everything looks nice and tidy. Passenger side, sorry, driver's side rear quarter, and again it's in nice clean condition. I can't see any nasty marks or dints, everything looks really nice and clean. Driver's side rear wheel and tyre, the wheel's in good condition. It's a, yeah, is it a matching? Yeah, it is Bridgestone, yeah. Bridgestone matching tyre. Again, about three, four millimetres of tread. Um, round the rear window, as you can see, is nice and tidy. It's in great condition. Pillars. No dents or damage. Is that a stone chip? No. And then the roof's in nice clean condition as well. Right, so down the driver's side. Again, same principle. Once looking down the panel, it gives a really good indication whether or not there's anything out of place. It shows you any dints or any ripples, anything that shouldn't be there. And obviously you can see it's really very clean. No real shocks, is it, to be fair, at 20 odd thousand miles on a 20 plate. Mirror back's nice and tidy as well. And then finally, driver's side front wing. And again, it's in nice clean condition. And there's no damage or dents, it's all clean. Driver's side front wheel and tire. Got another little bit of kerbium, nothing serious. It's a matching Bridgestone tire. And again, I'd say there's about five or six millimeters of tread, so it's opposite side. 
each axle has got the same tread about but it's a full set of Bridgestone tyres so it shows that it's been looked after and cared after it's it's nice to see good boots all around quality as one well. onto the interior driver's side door card is in nice clean condition there's no damage everything looks really nice and clean on your armrest you've got your electric windows times four window lock uh, it's got heated mirrors and then your central lockings here i'll open that now because i need it open if you know there's two keys there's also two keys for the roll and lock as well driver's seat no shocks bolsters are really nice and firm the material as you can see is really very nice and clean like the rest of the truck it's just superb it's a high adjustable seat what was always impressed me about volkswagen amarok is you know if you get in some like the uh i've just done a video on a ford transit over there and you try and hire them lower the seat and it's just it's, it's hard work with these it just goes oh and down dead easy works nice and easily um, you have got cubby holes underneath as well uh, there's no mats in this one but you can see there's no heel marks in the carpet just needs a nice set of mats to set it off um, we can get these at trade if you want give us a shout we'll sort your set it's not a problem you will need to pay for them we just sell the vehicles as they are so as you can probably appreciate it makes life a lot easier but all these extra things that you sometimes need like a canopy if someone wants a canopy uh, if people want to tow bar sometimes we can get those for you please just ask we get them for you at a trade cost and we'll get them fitted for you no problems at all passenger seat bolsters are firm in fact they're so firm i don't feel like no um i think no one's ever sat in it do see this a lot on directors vehicles they use them for the vat status obviously pay all the vat back and the tax back on the fuel it makes loads of sense and then just use them as a car dashboard is very clean and tidy no one's stuck anything stupid to it and left any horrible marks it smells nice inside doesn't smell like it's lived on a farm and it doesn't smell like it's been smoked in um, it just smells nice and clean armrest is nice and clean and tidy it's in good condition Everything's very clean and tidy, to be fair. Let's start her up. Foot on the brake, obviously, to start it, it does prompt you anyway. Give it a pre eat and it just starts straight away, no issues at all. Um, no warning lights on the dashboard, it's just telling me that Ad Blue range is 4,000 miles, so more than enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, media centre. What kind of system have we got? got a reversing camera. No, we've got parking sensors on this one. It's got park pilot, but you can see there's no misfires on any of those. Stop. Speakers are good. Nice sound system. No distortion. Everything sounds sweet. I'm in park on that radio. Um, so, band, we've got AM, FM, DAB. It has it got a CD player? It has got a CD player. No CDs free though this time. But we have got two SD card slots, which I've always liked on these. Um, we've got navigation, have we got navigation? We have got navigation. Nice clear screen, everything works well. Obviously you've got your phone, it is touch screen. Oh, that works really superbly as well, nice system. Yeah, app connect on these as well, we've got car net. You probably know better than me. I'm just having a quick nosy through it, basically to show everything working. Steering wheel's in nice clean condition. There's no damage. There's no stitching out of place. It's very, very clean. Yeah, the roof lining's nice and clean as well. There's no damage. There are no nasty marks. No nasty smells. Spot on. All the seats in the back look good. We'll have a look closer, obviously, in a minute. But yeah, all good. Like I said before, you know, if you want to see something in a bit more detail, let me know. Happy to show you anything. We'll send it over by WhatsApp. Send you an email, whatever you want, really. No problem. Driver side rear door card, nice and clean, no damage, everything looks good. Again, I don't think they've been sat in. Do see this a lot. Obviously, company directors will use them as company cars, claim all the VAT back and all the tax back, and they work really well in that way. Carpets are in great condition, you've got your cup holders in the back, and the seats, they just feel like new. It's too I think they do, yeah, they do, don't they? Oh, it's pinned back, I can't do it, but yeah. So, you, oh, do you want to do that? Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do come up look so you can pin them up if you want to there you go 
Uh, worth mentioning, we do specialise in pickup trucks, commercial vehicles. We've always got plenty on site. So if you're looking for more than one, or if this one's not for you, have a look on our website, justcompaircars.com. And all the vehicles I've got these in-depth walk-around videos. Um, passenger door card, again, nice and clean, no damage, everything looks great. And again, just to confirm that passenger seat looks like new. It is in superb condition, it really is. As are the carpets. Passenger rear. Again, superb. Very, very clean and tidy. Oh, I need to pop the bonnet. Where is it on this one? <coughs> I think it's this side. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? That's a wasted journey. So I'll look under the bonnet. Oh, wow. Nice to see. It's in superb condition in there. Turbo unit, you can see. You could eat your dinner off that. Uh, there's no all the residue around it um engine bay you can see all around the engine block there's no signs of any historic oil leaks it's very clean and very tidy obviously it's got great history as well um, decent battery good quality uh, i would say usually it's got clean fluids uh, brake fluids there you can see they're nice and clean you can't really see the i can't have a quick look yes Coolant's nice and clean and to the correct level as well. Anything particular you want to say, please just ask, it's not a problem. Um, obviously, I'm only showing you a limited amount of uh, what I can see. If you want to see something specific, please just ask, it's not a problem. Nothing to hide with at all. So underneath, again, you can see no signs of any historic oil leaks. The chassis is in great condition, as is the exhaust. <coughs> Uh, rear diff is nice and dry by the look of it, yeah, it's clean and dry. Spare is an alloy and it's got a, is that a continental? I think that's a brand new continental tie. Okay, okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Probably a little bit more, but I'd rather show you too much at the end of the day than not enough. Um, like I said before, if you do need to see something else, please just give us a call. Ask for James, you can't go wrong and uh, we'll do our best for you. For the moment though, thanks for watching and sticking with me. Really appreciate it. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.